This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. The lettuce is scattered all over the garden. Travel down each path until you reach a head of lettuce. Okay, so what's until? Hmm. Ah, until I hit the lettuce. Well, how many blocks can I use? I'm supposed to use one of seven. Then continue to pick it while there is still some left. All right, so I'm not sure how long this is. Something that's concerning, this one's really long, but then look at the path. It changes how long it is each time. So if I just do move forward a bunch, that's going to already take me over my amount of blocks. I see we have a repeat five times. Let me try that guy out. What's nice about code is you can always test stuff. Okay, but that doesn't even get us there yet. What if I did six? Okay, well, the problem with this is great. Now, once I pick the lettuce, I could turn right, and then I could do repeat. But then five, six times, and then I could do repeat six times. The path changes how big it is. So this is a mess. That's not going to work. What if we move forward as long as there is no lettuce? So repeat until you find lettuce. What do I want to repeat? Well, I want to repeatedly move forward. Let's try that. All right, that got us to the lettuce. So pick lettuce. Here's a problem, though. That's only going to pick lettuce once. Does the lettuce change? Yep. You see how there's two now? Two now. Two. One. One. So it's going to change on us. Sometimes it'll be one, sometimes two. We do not know how much lettuce will be there, which means we want to use this now. While there is lettuce, what do I want to do? Pick lettuce. So as long as there's lettuce, pick the lettuce. Is there still lettuce? Pick the lettuce. And the computer just repeats the code inside of this. Choop, choop, choop until there's no lettuce left. And when there's no lettuce left, whatever code I have underneath it would run. Well, what do I need to do after I pick all this lettuce? I need to turn right. So it's going to keep repeatedly picking lettuce until I'm done, no more lettuce, and then I'll turn right. What would I do after that? Well, I think I want to walk towards this le lettuce. So I'm going to repeat until there's lettuce. Again, I'm going to search for my lettuce. And what do I want to repeat? I want to keep moving forward. Okay, goodbye. Great, and now what am I gonna do? Well, now that I arrived, as long as there's lettuce, pick lettuce. And keep in mind, you can always use step through to see if program run one line at a time, okay? So as long as there's lettuce, pick lettuce, and then what? Turn right, I guess, and then what? Well, repeat until there's lettuce. What do I wanna do? I'm gonna walk forward. Then when I get to that lettuce, what am I going to do? While there is lettuce, I should pick it. And look, we're way over blocks, 15 out of 7. Also, we're repeating ourselves. So we have repeats that are repeating ourselves. And I could have put turn right here. Exact same code three times in a row. We don't need to do that. We can do it the better way. And that is, instead of writing it three times in a row the exact same, using a repeat block. Okay, except there's even more than three sides. Three, four, five, six, maybe? Let's try. Okay, And so it's repeating every line of code in here six times. So each of these loops repeat until run six times. But you walk forward more than once because the loop, well, I'll keep walking forward until I find lettuce. But it runs that loop six separate times because all of it is in a repeat block itself. This is some tricky stuff. Let's keep going. 